Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 10 recovery disk. This will help you diagnose, and hopefully fix, problems with your Windows 10 PC. So here's what you'll need. First, you'll need a Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10 PC with an internet connection and DVD burner. And secondly, you'll need a PC with Windows 10 that has a major problem that prevents it from booting, for example, the black screen of death. So the first thing you'll need to do is to log into your working PC and visit this website. It's a page on the Microsoft site that allows you to download a tool that creates installation media for Windows 10. So please visit this site, the link is in the description. Once you've arrived at the site, scroll down and you'll see these two links. Now you can either download a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of the tool used to create the installation media. The computer you're using to create the media probably has a 64-bit operating system on it, so if I were you, I'd download the 64-bit version of the tool. Anyway, the tool will download, as you can see down the bottom of the screen here, and after it's finished downloading, then open it. You'll see the What Do You Want To Do screen. On this screen, click the radio button that says Create Installation Media for Another PC, and then click Next. Now, choose your preferred language. I'll select United States English, and then you want to select your edition. So if the computer you're trying to fix has Windows 10 Home on it, then select the Home version from the drop-down menu, and if it has a Pro version, then select Pro. Now, to make the right decision under the Architecture drop-down menu, you need to be familiar with the version of Windows which is installed on your computer. I'd just choose the 64-bit version because it will probably be correct. Now, you can choose which media to create your installation disk or your recovery disk on. I'll select ISO file as I don't have any USB sticks handy and my working computer and the PC I need to fix, they both have DVD drives. You'll be prompted for a folder in which to save the ISO file. So I'll name the ISO file, I've just named it Windows 10, and I'll click save. Now Windows 10 will be downloaded from Microsoft servers onto your computer. You might have to wait a little while, I waited for an hour and I have a 10 megabits per second web connection. So you, you just wait a little while, it's got up to about 50% now, and then it will eventually finish. So after the operating system has been downloaded, it will verify the download, which might take a little while as well. And then it will do a process called creating Windows 10 media, which essentially means that it will create the ISO file in the folder that you specified earlier. After this process is done, then it will come up with this screen. Now normally what you would be able to do is click on the link to open DVD Burner, but it turns out that there was a little bit of a problem with the tool on my PC, and it came up with this strange error message. So the other way you can do it is to click on the path to the ISO file, which is directly above the Open DVD Burner link, and then it will open a Windows Explorer window with the ISO file highlighted. Right click on it, and click Burn to Disk. Now, you need to insert a blank DVD into your drive, and then click the burn button. You will probably need to wait about 10 minutes. After the disk has finished burning, your drive should automatically eject. Remove the disk from it, and then go to your Windows 10 PC that has problems booting. Now, what you want to do is insert the recovery disk and boot from it. So after booting from the DVD, your PC should display this screen. Windows 10 Automatic Repair will hopefully diagnose your problems and fix them automatically. If it doesn't, then you might be presented with a screen like this. Click on the Advanced Options button and work your way through all of these options. So what I'd probably do is click on Startup Repair first, and then it will do another kind of automatic repair thing. And if that doesn't work, then you could try some of the other options. System Restore would probably be the second most useful option, as it might allow you to restore to a point before you installed Windows 10 on your PC. So you might be able to get back to Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever you had on your computer before, and everything might be good. But anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. I'm Handy Andy, and thank you so much for watching my video.